Hi all, my wave ski has arrived. It's freezing cold outside, but I cannot wait any longer to unpack my Mexican dolphin. So let's get to it. I have the photos of my wave ski already a long time on my screensaver of my phone uh, because of the photos that Ian sent me. But seeing it in real life is so, so, so much more. Wow. In the bottom. You know, every time someone asks me how I feel about my new wave ski, the first thing that always pops up is saying that it feels like the board is specially made for me. And you know what? That is exactly what it is. This board is custom made for me and I feel that. It fits like a glove and it's so beautiful to experience how Ian, the shaper, translated all my wishes and needs into this amazing board. It all started with uh, my admiration for the Dolphin model and Ian from Mexico USA surprising me with the offer to sponsor me with a board for the work I put into Start Wavesky Surfing. All exciting, uh, of course. And, um, you know, uh, I love the lines of the Dolphin model, but when it comes down to uh, customizing uh, the board to fit my needs, I had no idea uh, what to do or choose uh, considering the bottom, the shape of the bottom and the shape of the rails. But that's the beauty of working together with a talented and experienced shaper. He knows exactly what information he needs to make sure he shapes you the perfect board. So I gave Ian as much information as I could on the types of waves I surf, the conditions in which I surf, uh, my level of surfing uh, and uh, what style of surfing I like and what I would like to achieve. And from there, it was all up to Ian to do his magic. And he perfectly analyzed that I needed the right combination between stability and responsiveness. And, um, well, yeah, he nailed it. It's such a joy uh, riding this dolphin. The board is very stable and very forgiving. Uh, you know, the Dutch waves are created by wind. And it means that most of the time, the higher the waves, uh, the windier and the messier the conditions are. But this board feels so comfortable and easy to pedal with, even in tough conditions, so I can fully focus on improving my technique. The length of the 8-footer makes it easy to catch waves in slow and in low waves and the flow and the speed of the board is so nice and it handles steep drops very well. And what about turning with the board? That was very essential for me. I still wanted to be able to do sharp and fast turns and well, from the first uh, waves I surfed, I really felt that that hard feet in the tail was doing its thing. Uh, I still remember that first turn that was such a smooth release and a quick response. Uh, the eight footer uh, dolphin is remarkably longer than uh, my board I surfed the past years, but I didn't have to give in on responsiveness at all. So I'm really very happy with that. When I was putting my seat uh, on my board, I was really wondering how uh, my seating position would be. I was wondering if it wouldn't be too low for me. Uh, but as you can see, I did put a seat on with Velcro. Um, so I can put my uh, seat uh, forward and back uh, to test out different positions. Uh, but also I can put an uh, eraser, an extra foam uh, under uh, this seat to uh, erase uh, uh, the height. Um, but I have to say from uh, the first session I surfed with it like this, uh, uh, for the moment it just feels very nice. I didn't feel the need yet to uh, test out other positions uh, to move it back and forth. And for now I, I feel the seating position is good, also the height. Uh, uh, I have flexibility in the turns, I have a good active position. Uh, but I think in some time I will put an extra foam under it to uh, erase the height and um, uh, to, to give me even more responsiveness. 
erasing the seat also means less stability, but this board gives me so much stability, uh, so there's no problem. There's enough room to play with. Now that I'm surfing uh, my dolphin and uh, with what I know now and experience now, um, if I could turn back time, would I have uh, would I have wished things differently? No, not at all. Um, this board gives me exactly what I need for the Dutch waves and to grow in my personal level of surfing. Um, at the very beginning of the whole process, uh, Ian and I uh, started talking about an 8.6 dolphin, but it was quickly very clear that an 8 footer would be best. Uh, an 8.6 would have given me even more drive in the often slow Dutch waves, but that would have, that it would have reduced uh, my responsiveness which I want so much uh, for quick fast turns and the more radical surfing uh, um, I like to do. So I uh, know uh, an eight footer is definitely the best choice. And you know what is the best gift of this board is that it gives me that feeling of confidence. I feel so good uh, pedaling this board, so comfortable that it gives me the courage to try new things and push my limits to grow. And that feels really wonderful. So what more to say? Thank you so much, Ian McLeod from Mexki Waveski for this piece of art and for supporting Start Waveski Surfing. That was it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Have fun in the water. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.